gracious and loving God, as we prepare to worship this morning, we hear the rain. God, as we prepare to worship this morning, we hear you. Open our hearts, God. Help us worship you and honor you through our song, through our prayers, through our presence. And just the smiles on our faces as we hear the rain come down harder and harder. God, bless this service this morning. May we experience you in a way we never imagined. And through Christ we pray. Amen. God doesn't speak with a thunderous roar. Let's put our hope in what isn't seen. scripture reading today comes from 1 Kings 
chapter 19, verses 11 through 13. He said, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Now there was a great wind, so strong that it was splitting mountains and breaking rocks into pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a sound of sheer silence. When Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. Then there came a voice to him that said, What are you doing here, Elijah? The word of God for the people of God. Listen. That's what the song was about, about us listening to God, listening with our hearts. And today during our pastoral prayer, we're going to take a moment of silence. We're going to go 45 seconds today. I know that sounds like an eternity, but during this prayer, we're going to take 45 seconds of silence to just listen. So I want to warn you of that ahead of time. So would you join me in prayer? Gracious and loving God, you bless us in so many ways. And God, we come to you in prayer with our heads bowed, our hearts open. We come to you, God, and we give you thanks. God, we thank you for all the ways that you touch us, all the ways that you lift us up, all the ways that you bless us in our lives. God, we come to you with prayer requests and petitions in our hearts. 
like I hold in my hand, God, one prayer request of someone looking for care. Or they're in a hospital for a week, and the fear and the hope that comes with that as well, too. And God, we have other petitions on our hearts, other things we pray for, other things we need, fears we have. God, we lay them on your feet as well, too, as the Bible says, come to you with these things. But God, so many times as we come to you, so many times when we pray to you, so many times when we lay it at your feet, we forget to listen. We forget to just pause. So God, now as a congregation, we're going to just listen. We're going to be quiet. We're going to use our hearts to hear you. And God, as we listen, we hear things around us. We hear the rain coming down. We hear fans going. We hear heaters and air conditioners running. And God, that was only 45 seconds, but to us, it felt like a long time. But God, help us every day to pause and listen, to pause to hear you. And God, may that 45 seconds stretch into minutes to where it doesn't feel uncomfortable, to where we can just draw closer to you. God, we give you thanks that you want to be in our lives. We give you thanks that you are in our lives. God, we give you thanks that you're relevant in this world today if we would just listen to you. God, you gave us your son, Jesus Christ, who came to this world to teach us, to show us. He set the example. Help us hear him. Help us learn. Help us be more like Christ every day. For God, this great gift of Christ that was sent to the world brought us closer to you. And if we would listen to the teachings of Jesus, it would bring us closer to each other. So God, help us to listen. But most of all today, God, we give you thanks for Christ and the love he brought to this world. And for that prayer that he taught us, not just as something to say on Sundays, but something to learn from, a prayer to listen to, a prayer to help change us. And so together, God, this morning, we say that prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Sure.
Would you please rise? God, once again, we give you thanks. Thanks for these gifts, these tithes, these offerings. God, we pray that they're used for transformation. They're used to change this world one person at a time. God, our world needs a whole lot more love, and so may these gifts be used to spread that love. And in Christ we pray, amen. Please be seated. Our second scripture reading comes from Paul's letter to the church at Rome, Romans chapter 8, verses 24 and 25. For in hope we are saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what is seen? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thank you so much, Paul. Let me leave you with these parting words. Do not gossip or spread rumors of bad. Listen for God and always be glad. Our job as Christians is to help each other out. We are all God's children, yes, without a doubt. Would you pray with me? Gracious and loving God, help us. Help us, God, be people who don't gossip, and people who build and lift each other up. For God, we all fall short. God, none of us is perfect. So God, help us. Help us to take that next step in our journeys of faith. Help us to learn these lessons that are repeated over and over and over again in the Bible. Because gossiping and tearing down doesn't build a single person up. It doesn't strengthen a community, and it is not kingdom living. Let us, God, start transforming this world one person at a time, and that, let that begin with us as individuals. Let us all try to take that next step in faith, and that next step as being a follower of Jesus Christ. For it's in his name we pray. Amen. Would you please stand and join me in singing our closing hymn. realize that we are standing on that foundation of Christ Jesus, that foundation of love, that foundation that was built for life eternal, built on God's love and grace. Let us go forward into today and tomorrow and the day after spreading that kind of love, that kind of Christ love. Amen.